Hi apartment therapy, my name is Ramiro and welcome to my 540 square feet apartment in the city of Buenos Aires, Argentina. I am an interior designer. I love to work with the energy of plants and colors. I made it while I was living here and I think I love the result of the process. I started it from zero. It was a typical white apartment. I came with some furniture but I recycled many things. I even found some stuff on the street. This apartment is my most personal creation. I put together some furniture and I can say I work it a lot. First, I started to create the zones. The big space in the middle changed into the living room and the dining room. The key point in zoning was the guard walls. The two dominant colors are gray and turquoise. You can see them when you enter the place and they guide you through the living room, the dining room, up to the balcony. Also, I wasn't sure if I was going to like that much color. How to combine them? I studied about colors the aura that each color brings, also the experience you achieve over the years. Welcome to my living room. I wanted a big sofa like this, that could also serve as a second bed. I bought this mirror and I love its wooden frame. I love to restore and recycle objects. For example, we gave a second chance to the old rug in the living room. I added color with chalk painting and I love it. I had a bookshelf with this boring brown color and I decided to paint it with light gray. When I think about evolution in design, I mean to give a second chance to things where we're going to throw away and not buying stuff we don't need. I can do carpentry, so I designed the round table. I used a lot of chalk painting in this apartment, even in the walls or the flower pots. I put an arm to the TV so that you can watch it even from the kitchen. In the dining and living room, I feel that the zoning and functionality work perfect. I already had the big glass table and I chose it for the dining room, as well as the big chart on the wall. I made it with postcards, flyers, even tickets from concerts and stuff from some trips. I love to travel and get the inspiration from different sites. The people, the colors, textures, even some smells, they provide me with a lot of ideas for design. The two paths are a great storage solution. They keep things inside. This is to the balcony. Here, I feel I am in the jungle. I am on holiday. I feel I have room to enjoy myself. I recycled an old city tower to hold some pots. I painted the big plant pot. Of course, the hammock is the star of the balcony. I also added elements of nature, like bamboo dividers, to separate the apartment from the neighbors. I started to plant plants as soon as I came here. I bought some of them. I also got plant segments and made them grow. In my mind, I had the idea of creating a forest out of this place, using biophilic design. The biggest challenge of creating this space is living with this many plants, about 200. I didn't want just to live with them, but to connect with them. There is also a small table with two chairs and I love to enjoy my days with the mate. That is a typical dream we have. Everyone wants to rest in there and enjoy the afternoon sun. Welcome to the kitchen. It was all white. One big decision that I took was to remove the original breakfast bar. It created a lot of space and a connection between the kitchen and the dining room. It also allowed my three cats to have more freedom for running and playing. Usually, we don't think about colors in the kitchen, but I love the combination of dark gray and light blue. The chalk painting worked perfectly. Now, I enjoy cooking more than I used to. This is a bedroom. I love to wake up in a place connected with nature. The natural light of the room is great as well. The idea was to enjoy the view when you enter the room, but to have it on your back when you sleep. You shouldn't receive too much color information when you wake up. I also painted it with chalk. I bought a bed that has a lot of storage room. I found the backrest in the street. 
It was an old futon bed base and I painted it. I crafted the light table myself and of course, I also bought plants. The wall has a strong presence too. We are in the entrance hall. I painted the bedroom and bathroom doors and also the storage closet with the same colors. You will see a lot of mirrors in this apartment and this is one of them. The apartment was all white, so it was the biggest space to exercise my abilities and develop my art. This is the bathroom. It is small, but it will have a design. I painted a circle around the mirror and I changed the light fixture and the cozy vanity. I also painted the ceiling, which was white. The main character here is a curtain. I love the design. It's so modern and arty. At home, I feel the opposite to my noisy city of Buenos Aires. I do try to add nature, freshness and good vibes, which are elements of my country. At the same time, I was looking forward to creating a place that could take you out of your daily routine. Here, you can reconnect with yourself and disconnect from the outside. Since I came here, I think this place has evolved into a home that I call Evolution. I had freedom to try different things and I think my art is better after all these years. The goal was to forget about the urban life, the external problems. I designed a beautiful home with the vibes and energy I was looking for. I know where I can get to, thanks to my art. I experienced my mission in this planet, to have the green life at home, to make home shine, to empower people. Now I know I can craft a place full of life.